Hi, this is Amin, and uh, in this video we're gonna see uh, whatever we will learn during CCNA course. So we can call that as a brief introduction on CCNA. So uh, the first thing is accounting the networks. Uh, we're gonna start from here. One, two, three, four, five, and six different networks are here. Very good. And let's check them. Okay, we land one by DHCP. DHCP. Uh, how let's check them? Come here, IP configuration based on DHCP. This is the IP address that assigned. And for DNS, I've uh, chosen DNS of the Google. It's not very important here. I just wanted to assign something as DHCP. So uh, this is the first one, second one, third and fourth. But how? Actually, this router is our DHCP server. So let's check. Let's check, enable, show run. So here is the configuration. Look, the enable password is encrypted. There are two methods for encryption, the enable password. We can use simply enable secret and write the password and type the password and also we can type the enable password and then use this command service password encryption the enable circuit is better the way of uh, ciphering is more powerful anyway but because I wanted to show this command so I've tried to use that okay IP DHCP pool uh, it needs a name and uh, as long as we want two DHCP different DHCPs so I assigned different names, uh, IP DHCP, then you uh, start to introduce your network, network ID, and I mean, and subnet, the default router, which we should assign to the interface that directly uh, will connect to the computers, to the end users, then uh, DNS server, and you, you can choose domain name, this is actually optional, and DHCP pool 2, which is here. And let's continue to the rest of the configuration. As I told you, uh, this is the default gateway, which I assign to these interfaces. And router rip. So router rip. There are some uh, dynamic uh, protocol routings. Uh, we can use uh, OSPF, EIGRP, REAP, but for the sake of simplicity, I've uh, chosen REAP. This is the easiest. And we just need to type out a REAP version 2 in order to make it IP classless. And furthermore, type this command and just uh, introduce the addresses which are directly connected to the router. And based on that, the router uh, starts uh, to send hello message to the neighboring routers. And there is IP route. Actually, this is for nat natting. So I will tell you. We call this default gateway. Let me tell it now. This is default gateway 000000. It means whatever network, whatever IP address uh, goes directly to here. Actually, for uh, we're gonna consider or assume that as internet, and I think this is the whole thing that we can see in the router. And also, also we could uh, try for that. Let me show you configure terminal for telnet line VTY zero to four, and just we can see. We need a password, we need a priority, it's not important, but as I told you, for sake of the simplicity, we just say password, I don't know, for example, one, two, three, and login local. In this way, we uh, just uh, activated the telnet. Very easily, we can use uh, the telnet and also line console zero. With this command, we can active uh, using a uh, console uh, configuration anyway so and also we can use SSH with crypto R generate RSA it is uh, more and uh, more uh, secure than telnet but it is easy the same 
so this is here and here in this router let's check this one and go here okay go to CLI enable show run again the same enable password so let's check what we have here we have sub interface uh, for what for VLAN uh, inter VLAN routing and how I, I've done that uh, we can see it easy let me just change it, it is in this way it's better so uh, we have what we have one uh, VLAN 3 and VLAN 4 and uh, we're gonna do inter VLAN routing for them so for inter VLAN routing uh, if you can see uh, all of these networks are connected to a same interface here the interfaces are different but here they are the same so we can uh, use inter VLAN routing instead of uh, direct routing for example a static or dynamic and uh, so let's check they are connected to interface interface 00 and we're gonna just uh, introduce two different sub interfaces 0.1 uh, 0.2 encapsulation dot one q this is the number of the VLAN this is VLAN 3 this is VLAN 4 and the IP address this is the same and uh, this is for the netting we're gonna check them anyway so now uh, with this command they are connected together providing that we need go to CLI let me show you we should change the configuration uh, show running config and we'll see here uh, this is the first interface we should change it to a uh, trunk the interface which connected to the router it is on tagged interface and we should do it so we'll change it to the trunk mode and the interfaces that are connected to the networks they are in switch mode switch port access VLAN 3 and switch mode mode access and the second one should be uh, switch port access VLAN 4 switch port access VLAN 4 so we can use uh, the command interface range in order to assign a range of interface to a VLAN so also I've done some uh, port security because they are connected if you can see here they are connected to a server so it is good to have port security uh, different ideas uh, in this uh, interface I assign maximum three uh, different MAC addresses or and also we can do violation for that restrict or protected and the difference is uh, there's a log actually as uh, as we just uh, change the device that connected to that interface we can assign just a specific MAC address so if the uh, if another MAC address connects uh, to the interface uh, the interface will shut down and uh, we'll see there is a log or there is not and it depends on the way you restrict or uh, protect that port so this is the switch anyway and uh, let's come back so we every device here all of them they can ping each other based on the routing protocols and let's just check the NAT and the final thing which is the access list uh, what is NAT the ports look we have NAT inside and NAT inside NAT inside and there is a NAT outside which one is NAT outside the ports that are here the data from the users are going towards the ISP router they are they are not inside and this one which uh, directly connects uh, to the ISP router is not outside okay and also I assign access group to them come down down here router reap uh, as this is a very simple network we could use static routing you know we, we use dynamic routing for populated networks in case of I don't know failure in one network dynamic routing can uh, find a new path new route for that uh, but as long as I wanted to talk about CCNA I use a dynamic routing 
So, as long as this video it became very really long and I didn't want to make a tiring video and I really want to, everyone can follow that smoothly so I decided to split it into two parts and this is the end of the part one and we're going to continue the rest of the video on part two.